This is a power station. It's essentially three components, a battery, power inverter, and charger built into one unit with a display and an app to monitor what's going on. And the great thing about these is the ability to have power essentially anywhere you need it. This includes camping, power outages, or even just places that you don't have access to a normal outlet. And when it comes to my power station, most of the time I'm using it as a charging hub on my desk. I find it really excellent for this task as well because you have so many plugs on it and it functions as a UPS. So you can see these gadgets are just very useful to have and as their price continues to fall, I can see why more and more people have these things. Now power stations come in a lot of different configurations, but I would say the most popular models are the roughly one kilowatt hour versions. Anything smaller and it's essentially a glorified power bank and the larger units tend to be pretty expensive with features that the vast majority of people don't need like dual 120 and 240 volt power inverters. So again, that's why these one kilowatt hour versions tend to be the sweet spot. The price tag is reasonable. They can power just about everything with a normal 120 volt plug. And most of the time you can even expand the capacity of these units. I even made this video showing how to do so with basic cheap 12 volt batteries. Now in this category of one kilowatt hour power stations, I would say the two leading companies are EcoFlow and Anchor. There are many more companies that compete in this space, but these two companies have a history of making quality cutting edge products and their customer service and reputations are actually pretty good. And Anchor just updated the C1000 to the new Gen 2 model. And overall, this is a pretty solid improvement with one noticeable exception. So the first thing you're gonna notice here is the refresh design. I think it looks good sleek, modern, but by far the bigger improvement is with the upgraded power inverter. This is now rated for a continuous output of 2000 watts up from the 1800 of the original and the competing EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. And this essentially means that every normal 120 volt device should work with this power station, especially because the, the peak power, the surge rating is 3000 watts. Now, when it comes to the DC output, I also really like what they did here. So they essentially exchanged one USB-A port for an additional USB-C port, leaving three USB-Cs and one legacy USB-A port. And this, in my opinion, is how it should be on all power stations. In terms of recharging the device, uh, here we have two main ways. One is via normal AC, and the other is a DC solar input. And over AC, this thing can charge impressively fast at a peak of 1600 watts of input, which they claim can fully charge this power station in just 49 minutes, which is faster than most phones take the charge. And the DC input is relatively common with an XT60 iPort, which is rated for up to 600 watts of solar input, which can recharge the unit theoretically in 1.8 hours. And of course we have the other expected functionality like a UPS, lithium iron phosphate battery cells and that nice app integration. However, the, the one big downgrade here is the lack of a battery expansion port. This was on the previous version, but they removed it on this new Gen 2 version. Now they could have done this in order to help reduce the price. This thing does have a very attractive price, but they also could have done it in order to force people to upgrade to the more expensive power stations if they want a higher capacity. But either way, that's the new Anchor Solex C1000 Gen 2. I'll go ahead and leave the Amazon listing below for the latest pricing, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.